6.33, and I will call to order the meeting of the Montpelier Board of Abatement. And uh, we have some members who are appearing remotely, and I would ask those members to identify themselves. Hi, I'm Sarah Carter. Val Alfano, District 2. Jim Cheney. Okay, excellent. Thank you. For those of you who are not, oh, and uh, the next item on the agenda is to approve the agenda. Is uh, is the agenda as posted acceptable to everybody? Yes. All right. We'll move on to uh, deliberations on abatements. Um, we have uh, what the people in the room have and what the people appearing remotely do not have is that I created a little table in uh, that I circulated in the room that's just a list of all the cases we have on our agenda for tonight with so we can use it to track the uh, action we take on all the all our cases tonight similar to what I did uh, in illegible handwriting uh, last time. And so I think this can move along pretty quickly. I will also note that the, I spoke to the clerk and uh, you'll all remember that there were uh, some people last week who were scheduled and did not appear. The clerk tried to reach them, was not successful. So we're not taking those up um, yet. Yes, you know, we, we've got another meeting coming up. What, do we have a date yet? Sometime in June? It's June. Well, I'll check that and tell you. I'll double check that against the, but I believe it's uh, June fourth. I'll have to double check that. Okay. Though. But we'll have a meeting in June, and we can get word out to those people that they can still appear. And hopefully, by then, the legislature will have acted, and we will know that uh, the uh, action cut off has been extended from uh, April 15th to November 15th, which is what we're expecting. This is what we're hoping. <laughs> <laughs> well, be, it, in light of, in my opinion, <laughs> in light of the fact that it provides for reimbursement to the community, to the town for the education portion of any future abatements, yeah. I think it is what we're hoping for. But we'll, we'll see. We don't we don't control what they do anyway. So, so we have uh, a list, and I thought we'd just go down them in order, starting with Tim Air, fifteen State Street. Deliberative session closed. Oh, we're Sorry. we're in deliberative session. They're not deliberative session is not closed. It's not. Oh, great. Right. So. Does someone have the note? Their notes of what uh, we heard on each one of these. I do. I, I was not taking notes. I was not something I can pass out. But just got the answers to the questions and basic little bits. I can pass this out. You have one for everybody. I do. Oh, okay. thank you. Thank you. This is just shorthand stuff to help out. It just has their answers to the questions. Any other little bits of notes, but it's not a helpful notes. Jack, curious on last time we were doing conversations on being on the first two payments, first two installments. What do you think? Uh -huh. Are we still on that track, or are we now looking at the third installment as well? Well, that's a good question. I think that's up, up to the board, but. Uh... I think we're looking at the, uh, for at least some of the people, all we're, all they have evidence for is still the first two quarters. Um, and I think that was what, that was sort of the rule we established. My inclination would be to stick with that. It, although we had some that, I think the ones that were substantially damaged, we did the whole year. But uh, but those are the only ones we went beyond the first two quarters. But you know here we go. We have, for instance, uh, the uh, positive pie building. Um, 
he certainly makes out a case for being entitled to more than that. But Capital Plus and the Immobiliary involvement. Same thing, yeah. So if, if we grant as much as they've shown they're entitled to, they don't have to come back to present again. We don't have to hear from them again. So there, there's a real benefit to, uh, to doing that. But for each one of these properties, someone can make a motion and, uh, and we'll act on that motion. So 15 State Street. Um, the notes I have on this one, the first floor only, yeah. uh, elevator damage. Loss of income. They get their elevator going more quickly than the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> well, we did this before. It was one big motion at the end of the deliberative session. Was it? Yeah. Right. Do we want to do that again or go so individually? That was very neat and clean. It was very neat and clean. So what do you want to do for 15 State Street? I also have that it's still not heated. Is that true? Does everybody else, anybody else have that? Uh, they're on the district heat. That building is district heat, yeah. District heat, yeah. I have the word, they're getting some heat. Well, I think that was after the district heat came on, but there were still issues. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah actually, my notes say that they were going to make a separate a request for that. I don't know where you ever saw that. So I guess I would move on 15 state that we abate the amount that be equivalent of one third. This is a three story building and it was the main floor that was impacted um, for the first two quarters. Does that work for everybody? Yes. Yeah. And if you're keeping track on your uh, on your little score sheet here, the uh, that column that says action is where I I'd fill in two quarters. The the column that says coverage is where I wrote down municipal and education, and then amount one third in the in the last column. Uh, oh, okay. Jack, uh, yes. this is Kim can. Let's say we do two quarters, hypothetically, and the building uh, can't be renovated in that period of time. Can they come back and ask for a further extension? Yep. That is possible, right? Yes, they can. Yes, they can. Okay, thanks. All right. Thank you. $3,176. So sound about right. That's 3529. Did I do something wrong? No, I think I probably did. Oh, it's got an actual number. Try it again. So, you know, she wore three, four, nine, three. So, yeah. No. Okay. Three, four, nine, three. Thirty. Thirty-five, twenty-nine, twenty-seven. Huh. So the quarter is fifty-two, ninety-three, ninety-one. We need yes. these quarters. Yeah. And then we take thirty-three percent of that. Oh yeah. Yep. So does someone want to give us a figure? I got 34, 93, 98 on 15 state. 
34.93.98. Okay. So municipal and states total one third of the, the total. Yep. For two quarters. Great. All right, 17 State Street. <laughs> This property had uh, a hundred percent of the first floor, but for eighty days with half the building, fifty-seven days. So that's maximum of one quarter. And they had only three months, one month lost rent for one tenant, two months lost rent for the other tenant. Yep. Or do we peel it down? <laughs> And how many, uh, the whole building is only one floor? floor? Oh, no, it couldn't be right. Three, three, three stories. So one, one third, sure. one quarter. So if you do third of the building, one quarter for two, yeah, for one quarter, should be what, 1692, 32? Does that work for anyone? It was only half of the first floor. I have two. I have two tenants, but only half of the first floor. But maybe I'm wrong. My notes: eighty one days, off. eighty days for one and fifty-seven for the other. But that together, they were only half of the first floor. Does anybody else have that? The the notes we got from John say loss of use for sixty days. Yes, eighty days with half the building. Fifty-seven days, and then. Uh, income loss, one month, one of the tenants didn't pay for one month, two of the tenants, or another tenant didn't pay for two months. Well, I don't know what meeting John was at. But... Well, oh, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could have written it down wrong. Let me... Um... Well, I have a very specific note that links the two tenants together with a with a note that it was half of the first floor. So I have I that on. Okay, well, don't pay attention to me. Then. So what do you think the right figure should be, uh, Sal? One sixth of one quarter, right? It's a sixth of the building, half of the first floor, which is a sixth of the total building. It's a three-story building, right? Yes. One sixth of uh, of one quarter. That would be eight forty six. Does that work for people? Okay. Also, hood and air. Uh, one school street. This one's still made up this converting residential. Right. I have a tenant in there. I may have gotten my A or ones scrambled. Yeah, Maybe the, you should not look at what I've found. The upper floors, the upper floors may have residents in them, but the yeah, first yeah. floor is the old common market. This is a common, common market. market, yeah. Yeah, I think I got my I think you should not look at mine. Look at your own notes. I think could I, I have my I, could I just back up? What was the dollar amount we got on 17 state? 846.
what ones okay and that's what i think that's what you might have said but so yeah so uncommon market did uh he's doing the conversion so that i can guess kind of the question is well when did he start going back in and converting the permits i got were in january so i guess maybe with this we just assume how long does it typically take to put these buildings back together if they were to convert back to the sure. as commercial like what's typical yeah it seems to be those two quarters maybe if they weren't to turn it to residential and left it as commercial i mean that's already sat over a year before the flood or right? yeah right so the turnover on commercial on that right yeah they still sit empty, empty for sure but that's true but if, if he had restored the building to usable commercial space we don't know how long that would have taken, but um, it wasn't restored at least during the first two quarters. Right. I'm okay with that. So one third of two quarters. So, yeah. So a quarter is three zero nine nine six. 0.69 times 2 divided by 3, 2,066.46. And if somebody got something else, it just... Get something else. Oh. Two thousand forty-five, two hundred forty-five seventy-nine. Yeah, that's what I got. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Next we have 41 Elm Street. Which is also being converted to the residential. Right. This is where the kid and chickpea was. Right. Mm -hmm. But they kept they kept the tenant on the second floor. So first floor only. It probably would have been in that same two two quarter range. And is this a two-story building or three? It's two. Two. Yeah. And two apartments up. And you said they had nine months lost for one and six months for the other. Is that's one of my notes? Yeah. And yeah. Huh? Half of the building, nine months, half the other half for six months. First floor only. Oh, right, because there's a, an office beside the Hippie Chickpea, too, right? Mm -hmm. There's like a therapist's office and the Hippie Chickpea on the first floor. Yeah. Okay. Are you okay with doing two quarters for half the building? So, so that works for everybody. Okay. So is that eighteen seventy four fifty three? So that's what I got. Yeah, that would, that's because it's two quarters for a half building, the same as one quarter for the whole building. So yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
67 Elm Street. Well, I'm sorry, what was the amount you, you got on that? 1874.53. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this says loss of one tenant for five months and, and another tenant for one month for a score only. I had my notes had second floor ten. I was out for sixty days. I mean, first floor is still vacant. They're renovating it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, it's it's tough figuring out exactly how to address these ones where renovation is going on. Yeah, or conversion. You know, we had we dealt with that on Langdon Street too with that Lucky Boardman property. It's a little different than he was converting that completely before. Yeah. This had two commercial tenants who just got flooded out and didn't come back. Okay. And he's just redoing his commercial space for a different commercial tenant. Okay, so it's not it's not a change in use, just I don't think so, is it Marty? That was oh. that's the new Bosnian market, right? Right. So this could save the last half the building, so two quarters. So two quarters for half the building, so 238059. 35 at Thirty-five. Is that where the barber shop is? Yeah. Yes. And that was also being converted as well. Yeah, they all moved out and are not yeah. moving back. Yeah. Right. But we did say the second floor was dry. So would that be the same thing? The same thing, one one quarter of the whole build for the whole building. That that seems to make sense. Quarter for the whole building. How much was that? Thirty-five Elm Street. Well, I mean, how much? Oh, the same amount. Eighteen ninety eighty. All right. Uh, We're up to 38 Elm Street. So what do we do on 35? Um, go ahead. Uh, $1,890 and 80 cents. Okay. Thank I'm looking at these buildings on on my computer as I as I go, just so I can have a sense of what building they are. He said it was like he estimated damage for twenty five to thirty percent of the first floor. Is what I had. 
Yes, yeah, which is 25% first floor tenants. Yeah. Oh, very yeah. My note said 40% uh, first floor loss based on income. I don't remember that part of the conversation, but that's what my note says. Yeah, it has to do with the second floor tenants, I think. Um, well, maybe not five apartments on the second floor and third floor undamaged. It must have been the rent reduction to the restaurant, maybe, that we were talking about. Yeah, he said there's one first floor apartment damaged, the loss of rent for the Royal Orchid, and the loss of rent for the seamstress. Yeah, she left. She left. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, somehow the number 40% must have been thrown out as a possibility. Sorry. But I mean, we, we can. And it's, you know, I was, I was wondering about what uh, he was saying because. Um, he was talking about the seamstresses being in that building, uh, thirty-eight. But uh, I that doesn't seem accurate to me. My recollection is that she was in the say in the other half of the building where the uh, barber shop was, or had she moved out? She moved. Oh, okay, okay. Good. She's almost in that little entry that used to be where you used to go into. Um, Use service bureau. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I I I wasn't aware of that. That's good to know. God, look at the floor plans. <laughs> Forty percent of the first floor square footage. Is that what we're trying to drill down? Yeah, the square footage on the first floor is five thousand two hundred three. Five two three zero. Yeah, five two zero three. Five two zero three. Okay. And so it'd be forty percent of that. It's two floors. It is two floors. Yes. I'm sorry, it's it's what five two zero three zero three. Uh, just on the first floor, right? Correct. Yeah. Okay. But then we got to apply a percentage to that forty percent. Yeah. Interesting. I don't know. We're going to come up with uh, 2,081 square feet. Yeah. Are we doing square feet, not the well, because it's not the whole, whole portion right? of the first okay. floor. Okay. And then we'll have to do it. And then two quarters of that. Does that sound right to them? And the total building is 9414? Yes. Well, so really, we're talking 22% of the total. No, but that's the total finished area, area right now. Okay, so if we do the 22 times, it calls one quarter. It's the total times. Yeah. So we just do 40% of 1 quarter. Or we have 40%. I think it was $1,742 even if we were in 40% of that quarter bill to quarterly bill. How much did you have? $1,742. But it's 22% of the bill, not 40. And you're doing it. I don't know backwards. So should it be 60%? Mm -hmm. It's just twenty two percent of the total bill. It would be the part we're talking about, right? Forty percent. Tim is saying that forty percent of the first floor is twenty two percent of the, of the total. Floor. Yeah. Oh, I'm just. Oh, I'm just right. right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, like a quarter of a quarter. About nine fifty eight range. Mm -hmm. Nine fifty eight ten. Yeah, and that was twenty percent or twenty two percent. Twenty two twenty two. Nine fifty eight ten. And this is 
just for one quarter, not for two quarters? Yeah, it's for two quarters, but we're using half the building. Well, if it's two okay. quarters, it's twice that. Though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it should be 19, 16, 20? Yeah. Okay. Uh, here we have the Capitol Plaza. <laughs> this is a little complicated. So this is yeah, business. Should we? Stick with the two quarter thing and have them back if they want to, or do we do three quarters? Because they literally just opened. Yeah, I think yeah. we have to stick with what we've been doing. Well, and then open it up and come back. Well, earlier this evening we were saying, well, you know, we could we could justify three quarters because sure. that they were closed the entire first quarter of twenty four. Yeah, and but there are some tenants. That have been playing paying some rent. Didn't he say that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. there's, there's, yeah, there's two in the base level, right? The CBAB and the beauty show. Right? They are. Uh, upstairs? Yeah, he said VPR is one. Yeah, VPR is upstairs, but the, the, the elevator is. Oh, uh, the people on the sixth floor are moving out that they didn't see the. That's the What was that? It used to be Johnson Company. Now it's like three letter one. It's the company we hired for the engineering. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Is that Johnson Company? Is that Brad Aldrich? No. So you're saying those companies have been paying rent since when? We're not sure. Um, John Snow said they weren't paying rent. I didn't. Think. I thought he said he was saying, saying about twenty five hundred bucks a month. There was partial rent being paid. Okay. The bar mode, yeah. the salon one, the salons are open. The adult uh, education is open. Yeah, as of December, yeah, December first. Why not say those two? The hair salon and the adult ed. Uh, the Vermont radio less than 60 days. I had that sounds right. Yeah, uh, the sixth floor tenant vacant because of no elevator access. Mm -hmm. That's it's a little much to inflict someone to walk up the stairs, oh, six flights of stairs. <laughs> <job>. <laughs> 100 percent of parking income. Still not working. Good news is I saw them haul the bank the banks yes. box out today. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Probably in town, so I think the savings bank must be open. Yeah, they opened the ninth. That's great. Wow. Good to know. Well, here's an idea. Um, they uh, they had a, a little bit of uh, income sometime during these three quarters we're talking about, and they have a little bit of losses slipping into the fourth quarter. So what about we call it a wash and say, give them three full quarters? That amounts to two hundred and thirty thousand seven sixteen fifty. Do you repeat that number? Two hundred and thirty thousand seven hundred and sixteen dollars and fifty cents. Could you say that number again, please? Two three zero seven one six point five zero. 
three quarters of the person. All right. Next is the laundromat. No. Yes. Yeah, I don't think it even meets the legal criteria. It doesn't meet the criteria. It wasn't destroyed or damaged. It's just it's just a commercial loss. I don't think that's a hard question. Oh, no, I've got some things. Out. Okay. So, Marshall LaPlante is Mary Clark or Mary Clark, Mary Clark Case Clark and Allison are the ones who didn't show up. I didn't show up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I put them on the list, but we'll skip over those. Obviously. So, Marshall LaPlante, 42 Independence Green. Well, this is tough because this is such a, we haven't been doing basements, but this is such a huge part of their actual living space. We made a decision earlier on to not do yes. awards for finished basement spins. Mm -hmm. That's what this is. Yeah. And well, there's two of them. We both testified that it's still been coming in afterwards. So it, I don't think it was from the July. I mean, it may have happened in July, but there's something else going on, I think. So are we saying no to the plant and also to uh, Harold and Darlene Wood? This is just Correct. finished basement. Mm -hmm. okay. Because we decided that basements were just not, even if it was living space. Well, I'm, I'm just I trying to that decision. be consistent with what we decided yeah. earlier. And yeah, that's what we did for the people on State Street yeah. and for one on Deerfield Drive. Yeah. Okay. Well, it, it, it does say that the the most recent assessment included the finished basement and bath. Is that is that true? The assessment doesn't include the basement. And so that suggests that will be adjusted separately. Um, now we've just been damaged. I'm actually going to their house tomorrow. So mm -hmm. their value will be lowered. They just won't get a um, tax break. Because they will. Going forward, they will. Yeah, but they, so they will no longer be counted as having a finished basement. <laughs> Well, I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying that we. It sounds like we have historically assessed it in the past as living space, even though it's in the basement. Although, we don't do that elsewhere, and so we're assessing damage to first floors because they're living space and they're the, the lowest level that's assessed as living space. So I I don't. I mean I can understand if it, if somebody has finished their basement but it was not assessed. As finished space, but but if it's assessed as finished space, then it seems to me it you're we're, we're saying that we're going to reduce it for next year, and that's great. But for this year, it, it was not reduced. It was it was assessed as full value finished space, and it seems to me only fair to. It was fully finished before, and now it's damaged, so we reduced. So what we were saying. Uh, back with the folks on State Street, is if you finish a basement in Vermont, that's kind of a chance you take. And we would do it with the commercial folks as well. Um, anything below grade, you kind of take a risk. It, it is living space and it, it is assessed as such. Um, but when you take a chance on building in the, in the um, below, below the uh, surface of the earth, um, it's just not something that was worthy of uh, tax abatement. Well, I agree with Sal. I my notes indicate that it was a finished uh, basement. We our earlier discussion concerned utilities in the basement that we weren't going to compensate for, but this was a living space, and the pictures and everything show it was totally demolished. Well, it. it... I mean, the point that I'm making is that it was actually assessed at a higher value than it ordinarily would have been because it was yeah. finished. I'm not sure why that was the case, Marty, but um, or or was that incorrect? That came from the uh, the appellant, so I, I don't know 
if it's if it's accurate but what she was saying is that it was assessed as as finished space. So I think in all these homes, the lower levels, if they were finished, had some level of assessment. But if I'm correct, Marty, you always give a much lower per square foot value for finished basement space, no matter what, even when he assesses it, because it has lower value from mm -hmm. an appraisal point of view. And, and our decision was, because the other ones that we talked about were finished, and I expect were also part of their assessment, but we weren't going to reward or award for finished basement spaces. I, I think that Sal, you and Kim are making a valid point, but on the other hand, um, nobody uh, under, under the abatement law, nobody is ever entitled to an abatement. What they are entitled to is to be heard. And we have the discretion to abate whatever we decide to abate. And I, I would feel bad about granting these two abatements after we previously yeah. decided that we weren't going to do any basement abatements. And, that, it, and part of the reason why we decided to hold the uh, deliberative session at the very end like this was to make sure we were acting consistently with all of them. Well, I will agree if what Tim said is in fact the case. If if this was if the, the value that the appellant was talking about, the assessed value for that space was was uh, with this with the same judgment as those other basements, then yes, uh, we, we should treat treat it equally. That was not the impression I got at the hearing, but I, I could have I could be wrong. They're, um, they, they're, they're finished similar to um, the lady on Deerfield and down on State Street. So there is value to it. Um, it it's, I mean, it's not value higher than the first, you know, the above grade, if, if that's what they're indicating, because that's, that's not true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not clear what they were indicating. Uh, or at least it, my notes aren't, aren't clear about that. It just simply says that it was included as a finished basement and bath in the assessment. It is. It, yes, it is. So are, are you guys able to live with that or should we spend any more time on it? I don't know, what are you asking us to live with again? Just saying no to these two people because it's how we treated everyone with finished basement space. And we can, anyone who doesn't like it, we can move to move to have a vote on that particular item when we come to it, or or, or now. Well, I'm not clear whether it was assessed. I, th I think it probably was increase the value of the property. What does Marty say to that? It definitely does increase the value of the property. It's it is taxed as living as living space. The same as um the way down Deerfield, the the one on State Street. Yeah. We're also was that? they were also assessed as living. Correct. Yeah. yeah. So Kim, if you want to um make a motion to grant an abatement of some level, this would be an appropriate time to do that. Well, <laughs> I can't be specific because I don't know what the numbers are, but <laughs> I think their property was lost due to the flood to some degree, and it was previously assessed. There should be there should be some abatement there. Um, their quarterly tax is eight hundred forty dollars and one cent. Um,
And this is probably one third of the building, right? The basement, yeah. Okay. It would be a second. Sure. But so, Kim, if you were to make a, if you wanted to abate the property taxes for two quarters for the uh, the basement, that would be eight hundred forty times two divided by three. If that uh, if that's if that is your intention. I'd, ma I'd make that motion. Is that a mount come to? Are you doing the math? Well, I was just figuring the square footage of the basement. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if this does go through, what happens to the homes on Deerfield and State? Because they, I mean, they literally call me every day. <laughs> <laughs> and so I feel, you know, it's kind of, I don't know what the word is. It would, I mean, they went through the process. They, it's, it was the same process. It was the same process. Absolutely. Should, should we yeah. direct them? But it's not a consistent outcome. It's people. not a consistent outcome. Yeah. So it's not, I just feel if we're going to change our decision based on, I mean, whatever it is the decision is, I think it needs to remain consistent across the same situation because it is the same situation between Deerfield and State, and they got denied. And so we, Either we stick with the denial, or if we move forward with an approval, I would feel comfortable going. I don't know what the process is, but offering them a, an additional opportunity for abatement or whatever that is. But okay, here's first off the answer to the question of what the figure is. The figure that I'm getting is five hundred sixty dollars even. <laughs> That's um, so what I got too. Yeah. Okay. Now we have a motion from Kim to uh, abate. Uh, Marshall Laplante, five hundred sixty dollars. We don't have a second yet. Is there a second for that motion? I'll second that. Okay. Um, is there? Now we have the discussion that we've been having. Uh, is there any more discussion, or do people feel they're ready to vote on it? How many properties would we have to reevaluate if we agree to abate these properties? I can only think of it too. Um, there was the basement gravel rails, but there's no finish there. Okay. But there was damage to other commercial property basements. And we, same thing, we've done just the damage of the first floor, no damage in the basement. We haven't abated anything that was in the basement for any commercial properties because they're below grade. So I think we're setting a dangerous precedent because then a lot of these commercial folks would come forward too. What about residential? Just, just the other two that I can think of. Mm -hmm. Like I said, with these two, uh, when they were here Thursday, they said that it's still a problem. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I, you know, I'm having a little hard time thinking it's just a July flood. Mm -hmm. Do you know anything yeah. about the drainage of rent? What, a, what about uh, Hugo's basement restaurant, below grade restaurant? Sorry. What about Hugo's? Didn't we abate? I can't remember. But that restaurant was essentially below grade, wasn't it? Yeah, we did the per the um the business personal the um personal the personal property. Yeah. And did did we get a real estate abatement request for them? I don't know that we did. No, no it's just um I think it's just the TD bank, right? For that that long. Mm -hmm. I don't remember seeing them go back. Yeah, uh, Sal, I don't, no one's remembering getting uh, an abatement request for that building. We did definitely give a personal the, the business tax. Uh -huh. So, okay, let's sit, let's take a vote. I don't, uh, since it's uh, remote and it's going to be, it's probably going to be split, we'll take a roll call uh, starting with the uh, online Sal. Uh, yes. Kim? No. Yes. Sorry, sorry. I said Kim, not <laughs> saying. Okay, Kim Cheney. Kim, you're voting yes? Kim Cheney, I'm voting yes. Okay, Sarah? No. Tim? Tim Heaney, voting no. 
Now, <laughs> John, That's you're saying, yeah, Marty, no, no, Carrie, no, Adrian, yes. The uh, vote is uh, six to three. The motion is not carried. Uh, where are we now? Carlo uh, Rivetto, 20 State Street. That's very much like the end of my, or the Capitol Plaza, right? Because yeah. it's totally shut down. Yeah. He's yeah. just for three quarters. Mm -hmm. It was supposed to just open today, actually. Yeah, that was a really a gut wrenching story, I must say. Yeah. Now I don't remember exactly when he opened up the uh, the takeout. He said he said it was about a month ago. Yeah. I'd be yeah. inclined to just take out six weeks ago. You know. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I mean, wasn't all of his stuff in the basement? A lot of stuff was yeah. in the basement. Yeah. And we already granted his personal property. Oh, okay. Yeah. But wasn't he? So was everyone okay with just giving him three quarters? Uh, three quarters? He did say that the the back of the house for takeout was still running at a loss. Mm -hmm. So if you do that, it would be ten thousand four eighty seven twenty five. Ten four eighty seven twenty five. Yep, three. Yeah. His personal property is granted. Tiwari personal property is granted. Now we're to 34 Independence Green. Um, uh, does somebody want to make a motion to give these folks an abatement the same way it was proposed to give uh, Marshall and Plant? An abatement. Or are we ready to move along with just saying they're not getting it? Now, if the, it seems to me if the only property in question was below grade, it's just a formality. So I'm willing to. Make the motion to deny. No, are, are you making the motion to grant an abatement? No, no, I'm not. I, it's, I, it seems like um, you're reading the right now. If the, if the uh, yeah, if the if the uh, if the part to be abated is is below grade, as it will, is only a below grade, then I I don't think it's going to pass. So. I don't want to okay. be the one to move to deny it, however. Uh, and next up, we have Enterprises, the Inn at Montelier, 147 Main Street. Marty, how do we sort this one out? It's three buildings. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't was the first one of all three buildings, though, right? Because I think said ten rooms, ten ten of the nine rooms plus the restaurant. The White House is totally still. Says it's still out of commission. Yeah. Now I think ten rooms. Do you have a breakout on your assessment for building? Do we? Oh boy. Do you know It's the White House is easy. Being consistent, we could do three quarters. Yeah. For the, whatever the assessment is on White House. 
and the sorry, yellow says, one. Say that again, Tim. Which building is that? 145 Main Street is the White House. Okay. Still not operational. Um, and that did flood up into the first floor. So that was totally wet. Um, so if you did three quarters on that, whatever the assessment is for that structure. Then the 147 main is the big yellow one with the front porch where people consider the end. happens with that. Did you find it there, Marty? Okay. So the yellow building, which is 147 Main Street, yes. this floor is 2,516 square feet. What was the number? The address was? No, the square footage. Uh, 2,516. That's a two-story building? Three. The yellow, the house or the apartment house? This is the, the one in the back. Oh, the Bear Street House. Oh, okay. 147, the White House is two stories. That's 145. Uh -huh. So, no, it's it's store. Yeah, yeah, they're all part of the same parcel. Yeah. yeah. Counted, yeah. The first four square footage on that is 2464. But we're doing that whole house because it's just been shut down and not functional, right? Okay. Just like Castle Plaza. It's, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is this it's pretty square, so it should be the same. Okay. Um, first floor of the inn mm -hmm. is 3,256 square feet. That's two stories? Yes. Okay. And we consider that pretty square also. Actually, the second floor is a little bit bigger. Yeah. There's a little bit out in the back. Oh, okay. But we're doing just the first floor, right? And we want the second floor. Well, I think we need it. That's a question. Good question. But again, they couldn't be open at all because you no know, systems now. Right. Okay. Yeah, I think that's right. So the second floor on that one is 3416. So was but that then, close for as long? I guess when did Penzo's open? Do we have any sense? I was in Penzo's for um, Valentine's Day. They had just real. Okay. So, so two weeks shy of three quarters. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, half half of the last quarter. Yep. Boy, but we're we're going over these square footage numbers, but what we really need to get at is the dollars. Right. I only have one tax bill for these folks. Yep. Yeah, that's how it's going to be. That's right. So there's four, it's 14, 450, 75 per quarter. And then the, and the Baird Street apartments out back is three stories, 10 apartments. And they said the first floor was out of commission, right? But they had people in the upper two floors. Yeah, I think you said he had eight apartments occupied. Eight by the people that worked at the end. Yeah. Of the ten. That's what I thought he said. Yeah. 
so that would be maybe a third of the total building for then the question is what period before we get those going. I don't Apartments have been kind of coming back together about 30 days. Well, you would know. I mean, how soon would you be able to get them? I got one I just reopened last week. So it it varies. Six to, you know, nine months or it's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we have three first floor square footage figures and one second floor square footage figure. Is that? Yes. Is that what we're working with? Okay. Yes. We give Marty a formula and then work it that way because we don't have the numbers tonight. We'd have to come back together. We'd have to vote on it though. Okay. Yeah. So if if I add the numbers together that Marty gave us, 2464, 2516, and 3206, that's 8,186 first floor square footage. Is that right, Marty? I think the one that you said 3206 is actually 3256. Okay. Yeah. And it's 8236 total. And the second floor uh, that we're talking about is 3416. 3416. And 34. then the white. There's only three buildings. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And and Sal, uh, Marty said the White House is the second floor is the same as the first floor. So 2464. Oh, I see. Okay. And we're so we're we're abating all of that, right? Of the White House. Yeah. So that's forty nine hundred and twenty eight square feet. We're abating. Uh, what are we abating of the of the twenty five sixteen single first floor? I don't think we're going to get there by doing the square feet, are we? Well, we can, I mean, we can take the total, the total tax, find out what the tax per square foot is. I don't know if there's another way to do it. And then multiply. Sounds right. Yeah. It's just a question of whether we treat them. I mean, the 3416, the second floor of the larger building, what are we abating there? Um, it, well, I think the whole, that, that whole building, I think, was down until um, sometime in February. So like Jack said, almost, almost three quarters. Or half, you say half, half of the third quarter. Yeah, so, so basically five eighths. <laughs> yeah, two and a half, two and a half quarters. How do you feel about them? Sure, five eighths is what today. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. So we add that together. We, we sum that and take five eighths of it for the for the in building. Boy, it seems like we should have a more rational way to... It seems like you get an assessment for each of the three structures that totals the 2.577. I do have that, yes. Oh, you didn't have an assessment for each build. Um, but we don't have a tax separate tax bill for each build. Um, no, sure. I mean, or do... I mean, I can take the assessment... We take the assessments that would give us the well, ratio of the tax bill. You know the trouble with it is though, Tim. They take you know how it is in Vermont. You have one, only one of them as a piece of land, mm -hmm. even though they're you know because they're contiguous, the land value just gets put on one building, so it's, it's not going to be even. Oh, oh. Uh, but I, I mean, I can tell you what each property, you know, each building is assessed at. Okay, why don't you do that? Let's well, that, that that helps because we have the the full the full we're talking about the full abatement of of the smallest building, right? The two story. Well, not the smallest, but the 
smallest square uh, square footage, two forty six two uh, twenty four sixty four, right? Yeah. We're, so we're gonna. Yeah. Go ahead. No, if we had the value of of each each of the three buildings, we could we could better do it that way, probably. Let's start with one forty seven, the the White House, and that's what's ten forty five. What the White House is one forty five. Yeah. Okay. And, and which square footage is that? I just need to keep it straight here. I'm not looking at anything that you're looking at. I'm looking at. Um, so this one is twenty four sixty four in the first floor. Okay. Four six four plus twenty. Six four. So this one's five thousand one hundred and eighteen square feet. And the assessment, the total assessed value on it is five hundred and thirty-eight thousand three hundred dollars. Okay. We're gonna get there, John. Don't worry. Yeah, we're, we're gonna, gonna get there. This we're going thing. at this point. Oh, we're trusting no, y'all. We're so we're abating. We're gonna abate all of that for what? Two quarters, or three, but, uh, three quarters, five eighths. What did we decide? Yeah, it's still closed. Still closed. So three, three quarters. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, the apartments. Did we do 147 yet, or did you? Well, I think they're all calling 147. So, um, the apartment in the back there. That's Bear Street. That's a different. Like it's lumped in as one as in 147 Main Street. Yeah. 147 is the yellow house. It's the main inn. Right. And but the, the, the it's all garbage. one. It's, it's, it's all one it's parcel. together as one part. So the Bear Building. What's the that's yeah. that, so that was uh, three stories. Yeah, but we're doing just the first floor of that one, right? Yeah, yeah. Which okay. that was two thousand five hundred and sixteen square feet. We're gonna see assessment on that seven hundred thousand four hundred dollars. Okay. And then the end. The end. Okay, now we're getting there. First floor is 3256. Second floor is 3416. So that total little square, square footage is 6672. So you get that building in at a million 338 floor? Correct. Um, Yes, that's so. That's where the land, the oh. land is is on that one, even okay. though it encompasses all three. Mm -hmm. So the total property is assessed at um, two million five seventy seven one hundred. Okay, and the total tax bill is. Fifty-seven eight hundred three. Uh huh. Know. So, so if we divide, uh, say one forty-five, the uh, five thirty-eight three hundred into two million five seventy-seven one hundred, that will give us what fraction of the total parcel. That building uh, represents, right? I like that. I get 20.9%, 20.88, you want to get fancy? Yep, that looks about right. 500 is about a fifth of two and a half. Yeah. Okay. 
And then we would take what two, you say the big building, the three story building of which we're talking about two stories. We're going to take two thirds of the 133 divided by the two. No, I, I think we take the full buildings for each one of them and then come up with a number for the taxes for the, for the fraction. And then we apply that to the tax bill. Okay. And then, yeah. Then we do the, uh, the percentages. Sounds good. Fifty one point nine percent. Yep, for the main end. Yep. Yep. So that one's twenty nine nine ninety nine. And the the uh, last one is twenty seven point one or twenty seven point two actually. Let me round round these all up. So that we're using the same number. So we got twenty point nine percent, twenty seven point two percent, fifty one point nine percent. Is that yeah. up to hundred? Is that up to hundred percent? Almost. Close enough. Um, forty seven forty eight. Yeah. So now what we do is for each one of these, we apply those percentages to the quarterly tax so that the figure that uh, the house it is uh, 538,300, it's 20% times 14,450, 75. 14,450 and 75 cents? Yep, times 0.2 equals, huh, I miss. I get 3,018 and 45 cents. Twenty point nine times 14, 450, 75. Which is about right, 10% is it's 14.5, 14.450. So 28, 29, yeah, the extra percentage, 30, yeah. So $3,018.45. Okay. 3018.25, did you say, Sal? 3018.45. Okay, so that's per quarter. Yeah. And And that's the building that we're saying gets 100% abatement for two quarters or three quarters. How we have the white one? The white. the white one? Yeah, so for that, I came up with so 9,051.94. So if the total portion of the taxes for that building was 1206926, I just took three quarters of that. Yeah, I got 9,055.34. Is that close to what you got? Range. Okay. Yeah. Then for the yellow house for the 147 main, the big front porch. So that one, the event share of the taxes is 20, 29,999.76. And we said five eighths of, of the tax year for that. Uh -huh. I came out with 18,749 change. Like, Okay. So, so you took so you took five eighths of the of the annual tax, right? Yeah, because two quarters plus half of the first quarter of two thousand twenty four, based on uh, Marty's date night calculation. So what what did you get there, Tim? Um, eighteen thousand seven forty nine thirty seven. Close enough. I got seven sixty two twenty six, but I did it the other way. I used the I had the quarter. The only number I had was the quarterly number. 
in Jack. So that's what I use. And then Baird. So we're just so that's fifteen thousand six oh six eighty one of the total. But the question then is it's one third of the building, right? Because it's three stories. And then it's how long was that down is the question. Right. I don't know. Marty, do you have any notes or, that would indicate that? I'm looking for a comment or something, but you know, there was people in there when I was there in February. I don't know. Two quarters? Yeah, sometime. Two quarters for that? So the number is 257499. Twenty five hundred seventy four ninety nine. Okay. So we add all those up. What what was your number again, Tim? Two thousand five hundred seventy four ninety nine. Good. Well, I'm 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 working. What I don't have the um, all I have is the quarterly tax for the property. I mean, we we came up with a um, we divided the assessed value by the total property value and came up with twenty seven point two percent. We've been we've been multiplying that times the quarterly amount to get the... Well, it's a third of the building, right? Oh, I see. So it's only a third. Yeah. Okay. I'm up at 30,000, Thirty-three seventy-five seventy. Is that what you said? Thirty thousand three seventy-six thirty. Oh, hmm. we must have slightly different inputs. Mm -hmm. There's certainly a lot of rounding within these formulas. We could just say thirty thousand three seventy-five and. Call it a day. Yeah. Does that work for everybody? Yep. Yeah. So what's the final number? Thirty three seventy five. $30,375. Yeah, that works for me. Okay. And, and then the only, the last property, and we were going to check on that, was the was Charles Haas, 117 Elm Street. And we were going to find out if that was listed as being substantially damaged. It's not one of the ones listed as being substantially damaged, but I think it should be treated as so. For our purposes, really, the sound of it. It it seemed pretty bad. Yeah, and it, it's and it's, and it's not occupied, not habitable even now. Yeah, and it's right beside the house. This is it's one of the three. Yeah, yeah. They said they're looking at it. They're no living on the third floor. Living, yeah, they're living yeah. upstairs. Yeah. But whether it's they should be. This is right. Option. What what alternatives do they have? Right. So, one hundred percent of four quarters. One hundred percent of four quarters of work for everybody. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So 
So 50, 50, 12. And the net tax is because of the uh, income sensitivity? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. So that's what we're abating. Is the is the net tax? Yeah. Right, yeah. Thirty-one sixty-six twelve. Yeah, we don't don't want to abate any more than yeah. he paid, right? Or having to require the Okay, I'm, so, I'm sorry. What was that amount? Thirty-one sixty-six twelve. Thank you. All right, now make a giant motion here. <laughs> Does does everybody have the figures written down, or should I read them off and ask for a motion that uh, covers it? Why don't I do that? Yeah. The motion would be uh, a bit the following abatements: uh, fifteen State Street, three thousand four hundred ninety-three dollars and ninety-eight cents; seventeen State Street, eight hundred forty-six dollars. One school street, two thousand forty-five dollars and seventy-nine cents. Forty-one Elm Street. Let me know if I'm going too fast. Uh, Forty-one Elm Street, one thousand eight hundred seventy-four dollars and fifty-three cents. Fifty-seven to sixty-three Elm Street, two thousand three hundred eighty dollars and fifty-nine cents. 35 Elm Street, $1,890.80. 38 Elm Street, $1,916.20. 100 State Street, $230,716.50. 20 State Street, Ten thousand four hundred eighty seven dollars and twenty five cents. One forty seven Main Street, thirty thousand three hundred seventy five dollars. And one seventeen Elm Street, three thousand one hundred sixty six dollars and twelve cents. Yep. Everybody think I got those numbers right? Do you have to? Add in the ones you do not that were denied. I don't think we do. I think okay. those are just the the proposal is what are we passed? What are we granting dates for? And these are the ones we're granted. Well, I'll move that. Okay. And is there a second? Second. Oh, you know, Charlotte, I think you might be right because we need to tell those oh, people the there's some action. Yeah. We need a decision. Okay. We can Jack, what was the number on the uh, White House and the Yellow House. Oh boy! For the end, for the end, yeah. The White House, Kim. No, well, you got two houses. What were the numbers? Okay, so the White House is one forty-five Main. Yeah, that's nine thousand fifty-one dollars and ninety-four cents. Okay. Yellow House at 147 Main is 18,749 and 37 cents. Oh, and, and so John, the motion would also be will include the denials of Eight Berry Street. Street and 30, 34 Independence Green. And 42 independent screen. That's correct. Okay. Okay, is there a second? Sound second. Okay, great. Um any discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any, any opposed? All right. Oh. So thank you everybody for doing these calculations because the last ones we did, we left it with fractions that, that we figured. 
this saves saves a lot of work. <laughs> so thank you. So good work, everybody. Uh, I think at this point we can adjourn and we'll be getting another meeting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We as of uh, seven fifty eight PM we are adjourned. <laughs> <laughs>